everyone welcome back to my video so how are you today i hope you are having a nice day okay um as usual before we start our lesson i will provide a video to all of you and uh, don't forget to pay attention uh, because the video is really related to our material today so keep on watching Okay students, what do you think about the video? And I guess after you watch the video, all of you have known what is our material today, right? And yeah, now we will learn about recount text. What is recount text? So let's check this out. So now I will explain you about recount text. Who knows what is recount text? Recount text is a text that telling the reader about one story, action, or activity. Its purpose is to entertain or informing the readers, or a text which retells events or experience in the past. And here are generic structure of recount text. They are orientation, events, and reorientation. In orientation, it gives the readers the background information needed to understand the text, such as who was involved, where it happened, and when it happened. And events, a series of events ordered in a chronological sequence. In reorientation, a personal comment about the events or what happened in the end. So here is the example of a context. Uh, diving in Bunaken Island. Yeah, we can see in the first paragraph uh, it, that is orientation. In the paragraph, in the second paragraph, event one. In the third paragraph is event two, and the fourth paragraph is reorientation. Okay, uh, we will uh, read it together. Last year, I left New Zealand for Bunaken Island. I went there with a group of New Zealand drivers. Getting there was not quite easy. So this is orientation. Soon after our arrival at Bunekan, we got a general, general briefing. It included a description about how to take pictures underwater. This is event 1. Then we began our diving. In our diving, we saw groups of tiny fish. In order to identify them, we needed a good guide without some knowledge of their habitat and behavior. It was difficult to identify. This is event 2. In summary, the trip was mostly enjoyable. This place is so impressive with its marine life. And this is reorientation. Okay, 
this uh, their these are the characteristic or language features of free context. First, free context is using past tense. For example, we went to a zoo. I was happy. In free context, using conjunction and time connectives to arrange event. Example and but after that. The three, the third. Uh, Recontext using adverbs and adverbial phrase to mention a place, time, and manner. For example, yesterday, at my house, slowly. And the last, recontext using action verbs. For example, ran, slept, run, and brought. And here are types of recontext. First, personal recount. Personal recounts is retelling an activity that the writer has been personally involved, yeah, such as diary entry and biography. In the second, factual recount. Recur factual recount is recording the particulars of an incident. For example, police report, new news report. And the third, imaginative recount. Imaginative recounts is taking on imaginary role and giving details of events. So, students, he, uh, he, this is uh, your assessment. And you can see uh, there is a picture and there is a sum uh, sentence. And all of you have to arrange these paragraphs into a good text because this is a random paragraph and you have to Bring the paragraph into a good text uh, according to these pictures. So students, that's all about our lesson for today. And because our time is over, I want to end our class for today. And I really hope from my explanation, all of you can understand well about free context and enjoy my videos. So see you on my next video.